you guys it's Ela J I just want to continue sharing like some soul searching information um, that I found very helpful like in my journey and in my life so whenever you state and put out in the universe or decide make a decision for yourself that you want to undertake um, a soul searching journey maybe you are already in it maybe um, you have yet to start it and if you're just in a space where you know you're everything that you do like you don't really have satisfaction maybe you will be satisfied temporarily but then you find yourself over time just getting like detached and unhappy that would be a good cue to like you know decide that I want to chase after my soul I want to find things and do things and be around people who feed my soul um, I don't want to be unsatisfied or dissatisfied with everything that I do I don't want to continue making the same mistakes if you're in in that space in your life you should you should decide to find yourself and find your soul and i promise you when you start your soul searching journey it's like the most fulfilling thing that you can do for yourself it really is it may not be a grand big change in your life it can be but it may not be at the same time it just all depends on where you are in your life journey but um once you decide to find like your soul like you'll be more fulfilled like even just in your everyday occurrences even if you decide to stay at that same job or you know decide to stay in that same city wherever you are you will find more enjoyment and you won't be as miserable in your job you won't be you know you'll be grateful to be where you are so that you can take the lessons that you need to learn in that space and make it help you in the long run in your future so that you don't do the same things over and over and over again a lot of times we think that we are feeling good and we're feeling great or a lot of times we think we know what we're doing when we don't know what we're doing and it's not until you get in a space where you just like how did i get here like i'm just emotionally like you know unhappy i didn't even really realize that i was finding my soul that i was on a journey to find my soul until i got into it because like you know you sometimes you might hear when people say like oh i'm soul searching or you hear other people say that they're soul searching or whatever but no one i don't really feel like a lot of people really talks about like what like how do you go about it like how do you start it like yeah you saying this is what you're doing and a lot of times when people go and find their do a soul searching journey they look so much better than what you knew them before and you're like i want to be like that i want a life like that like you just look happy like can i be happy like that um but people don't really talk about how to start it people don't really like you just hear the term but it's like what do I do for myself you know and I'm the type of person where like I like to figure things out or figure out what works for me like I do like suggestion and advice from other people but sometimes not everybody's advice applies to me like <laughs> I have experienced that firsthand several times prime example a little quick short small example it's not gonna be nothing real deep but I remember when I was in I was taking courses in school or whatever and I was so nervous to take this one science class like because back then I didn't really I wasn't really interested like science wasn't one of my favorite subjects I mean it was my favorite subject when it was interesting and I understood it <laughs> just like math but uh it wasn't when it was I didn't understand it but um now I really do actually enjoy um some science like information or whatever but anyway so I was asking like people that I knew had already took it before I did and I was asking how was it I was like you know is it hard like I'm so scared to take this class <laughs> and like uh, a couple people told me that it was hard so um, and a few people said like you know it it wasn't 
but you know for whatever reason in our consciousness or in our minds we always gravitate well for the i'm not going to say we always but for the most part you gravitate towards the negative more so than the positive i don't know why we do that when you look for the positive and everything you always find something good so i was already going into the class with the mentality like i'm going to struggle in here like it's going to be difficult but you know and sometimes when we have like a preconceived notion of something like that kind of can hold us back in a lot of ways so when you look for the positive you do better so look for the positive in everything no matter how like intimidating it was scary it may seem finally took the course or whatever because i had to um honestly if i didn't have to i probably would have avoided it just based off of what other people said but um see anyway i had i had to take it so i took it i get in there and i'm like no offense like that's why that's what makes the world go around like that's why people are different that's why people have different thoughts different languages that's what makes the world go around some people's strengths are other people's weaknesses so but anyway so like i said i was already going into the class thinking that it was going to be so hard or whatever and i wasn't going to do good i got in there <laughs> And I was like, okay, so when is it going to get hard? <laughs> I was like, okay, so this maybe this is going to be the hard part. And honestly, for me, like, because I already went into the class with the mindset that it was going to be hard or whatever, I um, didn't choose a seat that was, like, towards the back because I knew that it would be very easy for me to not pay attention and get distracted. So I chose the seat kind of like in the middle of the class and I paid attention and for me like the class wasn't hard like the, the some of the people who took it and said it wasn't difficult like I've had science classes that were more difficult than that class so I was like wow a lot of times we hold ourselves back based off of other people's fears that they place on us or whatever that's just a little small example you guys think of how how on a broader scale how like we do that with bigger decisions in our life once you just jump off the edge child you'll get you'll get your wings somewhere and you'll just be like oh it's gonna feel like oh, I'm, I'm i'm going face first i'm plummeting and then you're gonna stretch your arms out and you're gonna get them wings or parachute or whatever and it's just gonna feel so much better life will some steps like like I was saying um, people I don't feel like people widely tell like exactly how they started to chase after their soul or you know what they're you know what is soul searching what does it entail first soul searching is becoming aware that there's more to life than just your physical body there's more at works in life than just you driving on the road, you waking up and eating, you waking up and going to work, you coming home from work, you eating when you get off. It's more to, more to life than just that. So that's the first step is realizing that there is so much more than just me and my routine. That's the first step like even if you just step outside you'll you'll like when you go outside you'll look at things differently like it really is so much more than just me like once you decide to step outside and you question how everything got here like this squirrel this squirrel had this squirrel eats and poops and pees and has a heartbeat and has blood flowing through his veins it has a mama it has a daddy it probably got here almost on the same journey that i got here like this tree why when i come outside i can breathe you know why when i come outside i'm not out of oxygen um why when i come outside i don't have to live in a bubble like if i were to go to another planet i probably would because they don't have oxygen or whatever you know once you start to realize like everything there's meaning in everything every situation every animal on this planet 
we all serve a purpose it's just up to you to figure out what's your purpose what's my purpose here why am i here like when you go outside trees trees know their purpose and they serve they, their purpose they give us oxygen but outside of giving us oxygen they provide a shade in the summertime they provide homes for you know wildlife they provide us they help us to make fires like you know all of that stuff so they have a purpose well your life it's purposeful as well I want to be as purposeful as a tree I want to be able to be resourceful I want to be able to be used to my full capacity like me I'm not saying anything is wrong with it but me just going to work and coming home like just to be still not like still needing to pick up another job to to take care of this and that and you know like it's just so much more to life than that to me and i need to be able to be used in the way that a tree is used trees have more much more like imagine if we only used a tree for just breathing we would have no money we, we wouldn't know we how will we make fires how will we have the some of the furniture that we have like all that type of stuff so that's pretty much what soul searching is just figuring out like your purpose like i serve more than somebody else's slave did i say that yes i did <laughs> I am so much more than letting somebody, than letting these people talk down on me, overwork me, not pay me worth my, what I'm worth, like, <laughs> not, not pay me based off of how I know that I work, like, I'm so much more than that, like, and I don't have to put up with this, and I don't have to put up with how other people tell me I need to live my life, my life is, your life is your life, that's why you were giving your life, you know? You can't take everybody else's issues. I'm, I'm much more. I'm much. I'm so much more than that. I, I want to be used to my full capacity. I want to use me to my full capacity. You know, the people who we work for, they. How did they get to where they at? You know, how am I working for? How, how do I become you? You know, how do I get people? To work for me <laughs> you know what I mean so that's like that's how do I do that you know what I mean like um that's what I mean use yourself to your full capacity that's what soul searching is figuring out your purpose why am I here what am I put here to do <laughs> the journey you guys will be so fulfilling um so yeah so and then with this video i decided to sit outside because um if you don't take like supplements um already already like vitamin supplements or whatever then it's very good for you to get outside and get let the sun shine like in your face wherever you are during the day you should always especially if you already don't take like vitamin supplements and things like that you should definitely come outside and let the sun shine on you for for a good minute like even if it's for a minute like you don't have that much time to spare but just like find where the sun is and just let it shine on you i have experienced like even sometimes where i'm not the i'm not in the best mood and i can just come outside and just let the sun shine on me and do its own natural work and it lifts my mood they call it sun gazing um but the sun gazing is actually when you are looking directly at the sun and they say the sun's rays can be harmful to your eyes so i wouldn't do it for a long time but um yeah they call it sun gazing when you actually look at the sun but if you don't do that even just letting it just shine on your face you don't have to look directly at the sun it just feels so much better you just have to step out and search so like I said, stepping out into nature, just letting the sun just breathe on you. That's like what that's a simple step. Just 
you know you because you could still do that at work like on your break if you have a 30 minute break an hour break whatever you know you could stop just go outside you could just start in that little small step just hmm just being outside like be in nature we are so closed off from nature and nature just has so much information and love to give like just step outside and just let the sun shine on you look at the squirrels run and play like don't you want to be as happy as a squirrel don't you want to be able to just do nothing in your day but chase a nut <laughs> i mean <laughs> you know what i mean okay don't you just want to be able to just you know just just live simply and happily like it ain't all this stress and all this you know craziness and madness going on like that's the first step just stepping outside and letting this get you some sunshine watch the squirrel run around or, or the dog bark and play with his ball just watch and whatever it is just watch